Hey guys, Shirtless Curtis here. Just wanted to let you know that YouTube has been on a blockathon again, blocking our videos. So if you enjoy the anime reactions, the reactions to the TV shows, cartoons, all that stuff, please just check out the Goosh, our Patreon. Got tons and tons of full reactions over there and we really have a good time. If you got a second, check it out for me. Okay guys, here we go with another family guy trying not to laugh. Now, this um this opening frame I, I do not recognize, unlike yesterday. Uh, just judging from what I'm seeing here, I'm thinking that maybe some some workplace <laughs> sexual harassment is about to take place. <laughs> Probably a solid guess, no? <laughs> oh, okay. The, uh, the uh, space bar lost track of what its function is. Griffin, what the hell is this? It's a robot that I built to save this company money. Now, before you say anything... One, it has no human emotions, and two, its prime directive is never to harm people. Oh, oh God, it's harming people! Angry, angry. Oh, God, it's got human emotions, it, too. It's, it fit into it's the modern... The tools. It's learning, Angela. It's learning. <laughs> <laughs> it's learning, Angela. It's learning. It fit right into the modern-day workplace without a problem. Run! That, that was pretty good. It didn't go the direction I thought at all, but uh, there was no sexual harassment, but there was violence, so, you know, I, I'm, I'm happy with it. Miss Lohan! Lindsay! Oh, geez. Here, Lindsay! Whatever happened to her? Excuse me, which one was Lindsay Lohan's dessert fork? Uh, I think it was that one. Stop! Give me cocaine! <laughs> I have who's th well. I was gonna say I haven't thought about her in years. I don't think anybody has. Did like she just turn into one giant venereal disease or something or, or whatever happened? Where are you going? Oh, I'm meeting up with someone from my grinder app. Isn't that for anonymous gay hookups? No, no, no. This one's a way for guys who enjoy sandwiches to connect. Ooh. All right. You meatball freak. Uh huh. All right, let's do this. I'm screwed. <laughs> the question is, for a good meatball sub, would I go to a gory hole to get it? Duh. Are you also married? Knock, knock. Do we? Yeah, I just wanted to check on how you're doing, buddy. You put on quite a show last night. I am done with this family. They don't deserve me. They're all just... Oh, you dick. You just came in to charge your phone. Sorry, Peter's using all the outlets. Toast house. Mm hmm. You guys know how much I love horrible puns. That uh, I thought I was confident throughout that one, and then Toast House happened. I mean, it's a tough decision. Like <sighs> what to do with that big watermelon I bought. Griffin, I just wanted to tell you that's a great outfit. Keep it, it up. It is. I knew it. I have to start trusting myself more. Absolutely. You more. always trust your instincts, especially when it comes to you know wearing fruit. Yeah, I'll be ready. Unlike Lois getting dressed for a night out. Uh, Tell them uh, the truth. Uh, uh, it's me. It's me. I've I'm seen one this one. Too long to get ready. It's because I don't have any nice clothes. Peter. All right. It's because I don't like the way I look. <sighs> it's kind of mean of Lois to force that out of him. What's this? Could have been Put traumatic. Put your head between these two restrained logs and win a free hat. Well, that's a no-brainer. Come on, you fat. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. Who's laughing now? <laughs> That's true. I got my hat. He did. He did. Come on, Peter came out the winner in that one. What the hell? What the hell did Peter do to Chris in that one to get that started? Or just <laughs> Peter being Peter. Yeah, but Chris isn't usually that violent. And why do I laugh so hard at all the mindless violence? Oh, wait. I think we know the answer. Let's, let's not talk about it. You know what I am back at the ranch? Oh, I saw, the, I saw this one a while ago. I don't remember if it was in one of these or actually on the show. But, oh, yeah, this is going to be bad. Breeding bull. What, 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 what's that? You gonna find out. Where you, you going fucked around. Now you gonna, gonna find out.
I got a house on the Cape. Maybe you come visit. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I like this ball. Maybe you call a few days in advance to give me time to get the house clean. Right. Okay. Maybe you bring a blazer so we can go to a wider range of restaurants. <laughs> I'll bring a blazer. <laughs> well, you know, that's the thing with bullfighting or bull riding or anything like that. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, and the bull, you know, dicks you a little. There you are, Dad. Where have you been? I haven't seen you in days. Oh, I went out of town for a little while, but I made the mistake of using this app called Bear B and B. We're so happy you're staying with us. Just a reminder, we ask that you not use the DVD player, but you can watch any of the VHSs. We have Clear and Present Danger, Son of the Mask. Oh, and here's most of a puzzle. Want, okay, well, I, I don't want any of that stuff. Use Fine. The well, DVD if the phone player. rings and we're not around, just take a message. I'm kind of on vacation. Oh, and just a heads up, the dog doesn't like men. Now, we serve breakfast from 6... So basically their B&B is to get somebody to house sit for them? 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. I'll skip breakfast. Uh... Everyone eats breakfast. I'm on vacation. All the more reason to treat yourself. The house specialty is a half-chewed trout we yanked out of the river with our teeth. Ah, there's the bear stuff. We not there's the bear stuff, yeah, okay. I'll return to The Price is Right, now with male models. Let's look at this beautiful new car, presented by Ken. I don't want it. That's fair. That's fair. Ken, Ken has ruined the whole aesthetic of the car. The uh, price is right. That was, you know, a thing when I was a kid, um, in my teenage formative years, and the models Gina, helped what the me. What happened to my underwear? They're all formate? stretched out. Oh, sorry about that. Me and the guys were using them to shoot crab apples at Old Man McCracken's truck. We don't want raisins on Halloween. We want candy. Hey, Quagmire. Oh yeah. Get in on this. I uh, kind of got my own game going on over here. Hey guys. <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. And so which ones ended up stretched out more? Hmm. Let's play a party game. Let's go stand over near Brian, and we'll take a drink every time he says bonerific. Bonerific? Yeah, it's his catchphrase. He says it all the time. Yeah, sure, okay. I'm here. Yeah, let's... That's actually a quality catchphrase. Let's do it. Except <laughs> Brian's a douchebag. Hey, hey, Brian. How are you feeling tonight? Good. Having a nice time. Are you feeling terrific? Or any variation on that word? Oh, sure. No complaints. My skin's a little dry. He's not saying it, Peter. <laughs> the thing is, uh, Brian ruins everything. Dumbass. Say bonerific. What? <laughs> no. Why would I say that? It's not even a word. What is in a word? Bonerific. Ah! Ah! Got him. Did I tell you? You can't keep this guy from saying it. All right. <laughs> that was stupid, and, but I don't care as long as in any way at all, Brian is made to look like the idiot asshole that he is. Joe, let's lose the wheelchair and shoot this thing. Peter, I can't lose the wheelchair. I need it to move. Let's lose okay, the yeah, wheelchair. Your character can walk. Peter, I'm handicapped. I can't walk. Okay, Chris, roll film and action. Joe, get out of the damn chair. Chris, get the cattle prod. <gasps> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it again. It's been an episode or so since I said it. Poor Joe. <laughs> the house, Peter. I'm almost done doing the 45 minutes of stuff a woman my age needs to do right before bed. Ugh, I can't even remember why I sleep in this belt anymore. Hey, Chris, don't tell your mom I threw up in the crock pot. Peter, it's me. Oh, uh, I'll be right back. I gotta go tell Chris something gross. Just come to bed. All right, fine, but I'm not gonna brush my teeth and I'm gonna fight super hot. Get up. You're on my side of the bed. He, he is quite the catch, Peter. How, how could Lois ever have a complaint about anything in life? Nah. We act like we didn't take a lot from the Simpsons, but we took a lot from the Simpsons. Simpsons. Well said, Peter. Well said. God, it would have been Very real easy to bring self -aware. a gun in here. Where the hell did they go? Oh. oh whoops. Ooh, yeah. Oh, great. Now, now Brian's 
getting infatuated with high school girls. Wow. No surprise. Holy crap, that was Patty. Oh, Patty, that's a smoking hot her. body. This is a bigger surprise than when I found out Joe was a clown. I think that belongs to me. I'm sorry you had to find. Wow. All right. Uh, wheels the clown. Out this way. Okay. You won't tell anyone, will you? No. You can tell people. <laughs> you can tell people. Okay, that was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, and Brian stu stumbling, supposedly, into the girls' locker room and hanging out there is not a surprise either. What the hell was that? I like Stewie's song better, though. I didn't even know the words to the other one. You're going to start dating soon. Hmm. It's probably good to get in the habit of chewing with your mouth closed. Doesn't bother me. I'm just, you know, one friend to another. Well, what, you got a problem with me? You think I'm gross? <laughs> Don't do that. Oh, he, do that. he's going to. Ah, there it is. Ah. Yeah, this is what you are. And this is what I am. Ah. All right, that's fair. That's fair. Chris, <laughs> Chris told him the way it is, and that is the way it is. Brian, ah, oh, Brian, everything about you is disgusting. 